the mystery surrounding who's behind some recent political ads is solved. It's part of our political pledge to bring you the facts so you can make sound decisions. A Republican group is now taking credit for the ad, seeking to influence the outcome of the state's Democratic primary for Senate. CBS 17's Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is digging deeper. And Michael, until now, we didn't know who specifically was behind this. Right, and the answer to all of this came in these new documents filed with the Federal Election Commission. And the people behind this who are linked to Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell say they think this has been a success. Faith and Power Pack is responsible for the Who or what Faith and Power Pack is has been a mystery. Earlier this month, the group started running ads promoting Democrat Erica Smith in the state's high stakes primary for U.S. Senate, spending $3 million. This happened even though it appeared the group was tied to Republicans. I think that they were believing that we will show that this candidate is the weaker candidate against Senator Tom Tillis, and I believe that that is a direct attack. The front runner in the Democratic primary has been Cal Cunningham. Whoever wins will take on Republican Senator Tom Tillis in what will be one of the country's most competitive races all year. We take it seriously. I think voters are appropriately attuned to the tricks that are being played. Documents filed late Thursday with the Federal Election Commission reveal the Senate Leadership Fund is behind all of this. The group works to get Republicans elected to the Senate. In a statement, the Senate Leadership Fund says, we stole a page out of Chuck Schumer's playbook and it's been more successful than we could have imagined. Democrats are burning cash in a $13 million rescue mission for Cal Cunningham. Meredith College political analyst David McLennan says this kind of activity is becoming more common. 10, 15 years ago, part Parties stayed out of each other's business, and I think that has just shown how far we've come or fallen, depending on your perspective. He says it underscores what's at stake and what he expects to be the most expensive Senate race this year. A spokesman for Senator Tom Tillis says he has, quote, no knowledge about faith and power pack beyond what's already been reported. And he pointed out that Democrats went after Tillis in his primary six years ago.